Good evening and welcome back to Academia School Simulator. I'm Modi Parandis. Last time we added on a ton of students. We're getting so much money per day. Uh, we have room for some more janitors probably. I don't know how quite how much mess they're going to be making here. And I'm not quite sure what they all do at lunchtime or anything like that yet. Looks like the faculty area is done being constructed now. So we can add in some faculty lounge type stuff in here. Uh, the grant is for the processing full faculties to have uh, that done and then school health. Those are the two things we want to accomplish today. And then we'll see about adding on more students possibly too. I don't quite know how, what form that's going to take in though. So let's see uh, if we want to add in a faculty area. Let's build objects of faculty. So let's take a look here quick. So we need some office tables. Um, okay, let's put, start to think about that. So this will be a table when you walk through the door here. Maybe a couple tables when you walk through the door here. And then we'll have the offices back over here. Maybe we'll have like a couple tables for like reception area, maybe. And then we'll have the teacher's desks over here. And like the principal will hang out at this corner one over here and uh, be able to oversee everything here. We'll have some filing cabinets in here. And they'll have some filing cabinets over here. And then we need chairs for all the desks. We don't actually have this many teachers, do we? I guess we do. We have four teachers. We're going to more than that pretty soon here. So we got the layout for the faculty room here. And we'll fast forward that. Get them working. This was going to be the nurse's station, I think. Not a classroom, right? The nurse's station was coming up in here. And this was going to be an additional classroom over here, possibly. For more students. Now, we could set it up so that we have more sophomores coming in. Or something like that to get us to 200. We get to get 50 desks in here. Might be a little bit of a stretch. We do have some room where we can expand some more students here, though. We can add four freshmen here. We can expand these classrooms here a little bit here with more people in them. Um, we don't need to worry about this wall-to-wall -wall desk situation necessarily here. So faculty room is done. And let's take the to-do list here. Let's uh, apply for that. And we got all the money for that. Nice. Now we need school health. So the... What we're going to do for the nervous office? Oh, no, the nervous office is going to be like this here. Um, let's build. And these are going to be bathrooms here. That's right. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to put some bathrooms here. We'll put a nervous office here. And this was going to be something else. And I'll do uh, also put some floors in there. Concrete floors. Concrete floors and some bathroom tile. And we can put some orange walls in here too. Get that all ready to go. Blue walls through the middle. We don't yet know if this is exterior wall here or not. We planned on it being exterior wall. But we didn't really built it that way. We we're going to use this brick for the exterior walls for the most part here. And blue through here. And then, uh, we would finish it off with blue through here. And then orange across here. We'll see how that goes. We are running out of room at the top of the map there. So this might be the last room we can do over here. Yeah, maybe not. It might be cool to try like a giant lecture hall here, maybe. I don't know what we put in there. The seniors or something like that. Um, Got that taken care of. Okay, so we'll put this in as a classroom here. Let's do uh, objects, classroom. Let's pause it there. So this is going to be our next classroom here. First of all, let's do the floor in here. Get this straightened away. And then objects. Okay, so chalkboard. Put that right at the front here. Let's see. I think it works better here. No, I think we want the door to be there. We want the teacher stuff to be here chair here a lot a lot of room to work and then we have a gigantic classroom here there's a wall to wall this will be fantastic i don't know how many students this is going to be we're going to have to transfer a lot in if it's going to be sophomores now one thing we will run into problems with is that the game is right now not progressing students through the game 
Um, so it might have been updated recently. I haven't looked at the, the notes yet, but uh, our seniors won't move on to college after this. They'll just be still here probably. And the freshmen won't advance to sophomores, sophomores to juniors, that won't happen. And then the f another class of freshmen will be coming in along with the freshmen we already have. So we will run into an overcrowding problem here shortly. Uh, it is day eight right now. And from what I've heard, there's 12 days in a school year here. So relatively, relatively short uh, school year. Actually, I take that back, maybe a quarter? I don't know exactly what it would be here. This is quarter one, day eight. So we're in, still in spring here. It's for time to add on more students though. What was this gonna be? Janitors, that's right, janitors. Oh, these guys are trapped. Put a door in there, please. Hopefully someone can get them out, get our workers out of there. Somebody let them out, please. Most of them are trapped in here. Nobody's going to do it. Everyone's going to work on other things. I guess I could fire them or rehire them. I can't, like, force them to do anything around here. Just going to wait on them to do it. So is, are people having enough time to eat lunch here? Oh, God, we just took a look. You just zoom in there. It looks like people were... I mean, there's, it's full. Is anybody going hungry? There's just no place to eat. I think we need more kitchen staff, actually. Because the kitchen is not going fast enough here. We need we need we need more kitchen staff. Long and short of it. Cooks. Let's go to add on another cook here. Let's add on two more cooks. Let's add on two more janitors also. Maybe three more janitors, because they'll help clean up as well. And uh, yeah, this, this needs to be bust, otherwise the students can't even sit down or anything like that. We can't see what the general consensus is here. They're hungry. They're not having fun. There's not enough facilities for fun here. I'm guessing is the problem. So maybe we need to make this another fun room over here or something. Another club, maybe? No, I guess we'll see. Still nobody's letting these guys out. These guys are never going to go home. They're trapped forever. I'm just going to leave them and see what happens. Their families are wondering where they've gone. And this will become an urban legend. If they, if they like, die, this will become an urgent urban legend among the, the children of the, the class here. There's uh, three workers that haunt the premises here from now on. So it seemed like fun was a big issue there. We weren't having fun from anybody. The food was an issue, another issue. I thought maybe the, the larger lunchroom here would be enough. We added 150 students. There's not that many seats here. So hopefully they can get some food here at some point. They're crowding around these things. Maybe we'd add another one of these as well. So there's this crowding. Uh, let's see, objects, kitchen, cafeteria. Yeah, add on a couple more of those. I mean, see, this is, this is where they're at here. They're having fun. They're falling, but they're having fun. In the club, I mean, it's it's tough to say. There's a library that they can hang out at, though. They didn't do that yesterday. Now they can. They can check out all the books. There's enough of them now to check out all the books. Probably not enough computers for 150, but that'll do. Just finish up this stuff here so they can somebody can save these workers. Okay, we're down down to nine students sick from absence. That's a little bit better than it was. I think we were at like 12 yesterday. I've heard that sickness can be a very, very big problem. It's kind of not working as intended for the most part, I think, right now. Because um, students will get sick like crazy even after you just, it's just a certain portion of them just always are sick. There we go. Got him out. Oh my God. Thank goodness. And uh, let's put some tile through here. Even though we don't know what we're going to do with this room yet. So this is going to be our nurse's station. And where is that? Nurse, nurse, nurse. Clinic. There we go. So we need a clinic bed. 
in there. Some medicine cabinets. Where should we put these? Put them here, I think. Maybe three of them, maybe. A couple of medicine cabinets. One here. One here. And then one chair here. And that should be enough. And that'll be clinic. And we can get that off our list as well. So this is a pretty massive room. What do we come up with here? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, 5. 5 times 13. That's 25. Let's see. Cure the 1. Uh, 60? 60, 60 more students? 65 more students coming in? No, right? Yeah. That's a lot. 65 more students in this one room here. What are we going to add those as? So sophomores? What would that look like? We bring in 65 sophomores and in three days time. It's 16,000 or 16,000 income with uh, 6,500 a day. All right. We're setting this up as a freshman classroom. So this is a class. A classroom. We need a sophomore classroom. And we need to assign a teacher and we don't have a teacher to assign. So we need to hire a teacher. Teachers. Nope. We need to hire someone else. Staff. Teacher. And let's hire in Sergeant Novak. No. Uh, we wanted somebody that's uh, this guy like this. Somebody's going to be really good at students here. Hire him. Bring him in. Because he's already hired, right? Okay, we're missing something here. Assigned teacher, there we go. Nope, didn't get hired, okay. Hmm. There we go. Alright, so that's hired in. He'll be teaching. Whoever, in three days when we get these students coming in. So now we have to pretty much wait until we do that, get that come in. And we don't know how that's going to go just yet. Built some doors on these. And uh, some tile on these. We're going to put more janitors up in there. Let's see, janitor's room. And for there, we need the sink. And the table with chairs. There we go. All right, we got a janitor's room coming in. Let's delete some of our uh, layout stuff here. So it doesn't look so bad. We can see the spots where we're missing some flooring here too. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right. So those are guys are coming in, in three days. Can we add to it? We still can add to it, okay. Three days out still for more transferees. Okay, so we have three days to add on more classrooms then. So we have a freshman classroom. We have a gigantic sophomore classroom. We need a gigantic junior classroom and a gigantic senior classroom. And we're running out of room at the top here, but I'm thinking maybe we put them up here. And we get rid of these back entrance ways. So what we would do, let's plan some layouts here. We want these to be massive. So this is going to be, this could be for juniors or seniors. Um, we're going to have like a massive auditorium kind of thing. That's our goal here. We have $5,300,000, $53,000 to spend on this. Uh, is that big enough? No, it's not. Go bigger. We want like a hundred. 
we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times ten. Nine, ten. So that's how long, that's how much these this place would take up. It's ten by ten. That's a hundred students. That would be amazing. Um yeah. We can try it. So let's get the layout here first. So we need a couple of rows at the front here for teacher. We don't want to put the guys right against the wall here. Do it like that. Leave a gap in so they can people can walk in and out on the sides, maybe. Might be cool. Okay, so let's build it. Let's just build it right away here. What's that gonna look like? We have three days to get all these students coming in. We're gonna get a massive amount coming in. All that flooring comes in. Uh, and then we have objects. Classroom. So a student shares. Got 100 clicks to go now. The room here also comes pre-vomited. As you can see that their yellow there is... Vomit from some time in our history. All right, did I miss any here? One right here, one right here. Uh, this looks like it. Okay. Let's fast forward here. And the other things we need in the room here, we need the single chalkboard for a gigantic lecture hall and a single teacher. Pretty great. All right, so that'll be, let's make that juniors and then we'll put in a similar thing over here. A student class in here and we'll do it the other way this time. So we'll go through here like this. We'll figure out how many we have after the, afterwards. These are going to be some massive classrooms, though. And eventually, when the game is fleshed out more, we'll have students advancing through their grades. So we can't really do this kind of thing anymore with gigantic transferees in. But I thought for fun, we'll do it right now. Since uh, this might be the last one for right now until there's a more substantial update to the game. If we see something substantial come through to the updates. Maybe we'll revisit this at that point then. Let's uh, cancel these guys. Front row here. So what does that leave us with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven would be 63. Um, so transfer 63, 63 juniors in. And a hundred seniors, a hundred high school seniors coming to join us up after that in three days. Okay. So we have to advance the time three days just to see how this goes um, and see how bad things get after three days here. I'm just going to leave it on fast time here and run through them and maybe we'll see what happens with that. So I'll bring in our hundred students here. Man, it's going to be some lot, a lot of money coming in. We got to hire some teachers in though, finish up the classrooms and uh, get everything installed. And that should be the last few steps then though. All right, 100, 100, 100 seniors coming in. We're going to get $83,000 of the income with a subsidy of $22,000 per day. Beautiful. All right, so I don't know where these extra grades are coming from, but they're, they're coming in. And then, uh, as I said, I'm going to let time advance here on fast forward mode. And uh, we'll see the next three days here for our next uh, several hundred students to show up here. All right, so we're in the day before the students arrive here. I fixed up the place a little bit. Uh, we see 73 students. Half the school is sick today. Half the school. I think I need to hire more janitors on. Because uh, half the school sick is a problem. It's going to be a bit more noticeable also when we have... Uh, all these students uh, there now. We'll have we'll have, have over 300 students then. We have... We have 100 transferring in. 100 and, 220 transferring in. That'll get us through, oh, school expansion 300 probably. We get all those done today. First of all, we'll get this guy here. We didn't get the school health done? Why is the school health not done? 
Hire nurses? Oh, we need two nurses. That's why. Uh, staff, janitors, nurses, one. All right, a second. There we go. All right, school health completed. We got three hired now, accidentally. And we got the uh, 2,500 for that. And then we can apply for school expansion 200. Expand 200 students, and we'll get the uh, 300 available after that, too, with our massive auditorium here. And I don't know if everybody's happy here. We're getting a lot of sickness. Oh, I heard another student, not, another nurse on. I guess that's okay. Motivation is low, but doing good, getting good grades. Just not PE. We don't have a gym or anything like that yet. We don't have any you know, outside activities or anything like that we can do. I'm getting mostly janitors when I click people. Not in great grades in sophomore class. Getting 58 in art. Man, I think I think what we need in future updates for the game is uh, more specialized rooms. Science labs, art rooms, um, all kinds of different stuff. I would say, uh, what else? Kind of, home ec. That'd be kind of cool. And then, then we need, what we need then also is more uh, interaction between the students and these rooms as well. Um, it's not quite clear how the exact how how students are taking lunch if they are taking lunch anything like that school health is completed we got that notified you know i don't i don't know i mean i see i see students run in here i don't know if all of them are coming in or how that would work because there's not enough chairs if they eat at all if they're starving maybe some more information about what's going on with the students might be a good idea um and then just different things just kind of separate it out because i mean you, know, you can see that the, the thumbprint of something like a prison architect is here i mean you see the thumbprint everywhere here same idea a little more simplified than that even where i think this could really shine though is in the kinds of activities you can do the kinds of management you could do with it that um maybe wouldn't exist in in prison architect i haven't played prison architect in a long time actually i just remember building i didn't really do any any of the management stuff in there for the most part it mostly just was building the right kind of thing so people keep people happy and organized but uh, here, it's a different different animal. So uh, I think we could. We, I think the cool thing to see would be more more student needs uh, and more focus on the student needs and figuring how to address those things. And better better idea of what is actual like happiness here. Overall student info, right? Like we could we could like fun is low, and you know what what do we need to do to accomplish that? Let's say look at seniors here. Everybody says everything's low. I mean I don't know. Besides building on more clubs. I don't quite know what to finish that up. And food is low because there's not enough room for the cafeteria. So we need to build out more cafeteria with with the number of students that we have. Uh, bladder and hygiene being low. I mean, it means that we have bad uh, janitorial. means we need to boost that up. Again, this is a little bugged right now. It's not quite working as intended, I'm fairly certain. Uh, health is along with that then too. And bladder means they don't have enough bathrooms to get to, is the idea. So that's all I can get. And we got 228 students coming tomorrow here. So let's fast forward through the night here. And we'll take a look at those guys and see how it how the whole thing is shapes up after that and see where they all go. Fill, see if they fill up the auditorium. And we'll see how many students we go missing tomorrow. Let's put our uh, odds on 100 of the 150 students sick tomorrow. We'll see if the janitor staff is ready to meet that demand. If we uh, continue building this, I would say we need to put a uh, second auditorium kind of thing over here maybe and have another one going on. I don't know what we put in there. Oh, we need like a gymnasium too. Um, that then uh, a building for that. We need lots of different things to to happen for the game. I think different kinds of buildings separated out from something like prison architect, and uh, more interaction between those things. I think is the that, that's what I would like to see out of the game. I hope that's the direction they go in. I definitely will. Uh, there we go. School expansion completed. Two hundred completed. We'll apply to three hundred right away and get that done right away. We have three hundred seventy nine students. We have a fairly big classroom. Oh my God. I don't know how many it's going to take to break the game, but this is going to be pretty close. It's slowed down quite a bit. And it actually is dropping some frames here now. Oh my God. There's so many. And this is, this is all 400 something of them, right? 379 of them. Cause they all come into the, the club here first. And then we can look at the overall student uh, stuff here. Now their fun is good. And like, it's just the end of the day is bad. I don't know. I don't know. 
it doesn't seem like there's anything for a freshman to, or a sophomore to do versus a, a junior or senior. Like, what's the fun of certain things? Where where do the people hang out? You know, it's 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 all the same. There's nothing we can really do to fix. Like, if if sophomore diversion isn't high enough, like why is that? You know, like what is causing that? 75 students to absence of sickness. That's only because a hundred of them haven't you know experienced the sickness here yet. A lot of books being taken out. It's awesome. And we'll see this auditorium filled up. This would be amazing. Yes. Yes. Massive auditorium. And every single one's going to show up today. Tomorrow, maybe not. We'll have sickness like crazy tomorrow. But for today, everyone's showing up to the class. And the teacher's lecturing to the, the desk for no reason. Everyone's learning. How is everybody like in the classroom here? Ladders falling. They're learning, though. I think. Food, energy, fun is bad. Hydrogen. This is just always... Discipline. See, that's another thing, too. I think that's another update they'll be doing is, is more focused on the discipline, too. We'll need to have a detention hall or something like that. Um, where we can put students that are uh, misbehaving. And more student animations that are misbehaving. I did see a, I did see a roadmap for that, too. So they're going to be doing some bullying and other other rambunctious students kind of things. Oh, my God. Everyone's thinking about math all at once. Learn something about math now. Every single one of us. Pretty incredible. Everyone's bad at math now. People are just leaving out like, I've had enough of your math. I don't know. I mean, I, we need, we need, like, I feel like uh, in high schools, you don't get these, these freshman classrooms. You get the only, you get, I mean, at least my high school was like, uh, you get a math room. The teachers stay where they are. And, you know, in a different, in a curriculum, you'll have, you know, you'll have your math class, you'll have your science class, and for science class, you'd go to the science lab, and you'd go to the, the science teacher that has a, has a particular room that's theirs. So it really it becomes about the teacher's environment rather than the student's environment, because right now it's focused on freshman classroom. So all freshmen get taught every single subject inside the freshman classroom. How is that translating to the uh, subjects here? You know what I mean? This, this is not doing anything as far as I can tell right now. It's just random chance what they put their points into so i think i think based on the roadmap here what we'll see for the future for the game here is that we'll have uh you know we'll have a history classroom we'll have a pe we'll have a gymnasium we'll have a pe class um I think we should have both honestly because they're two different things pe class and gymnasiums are two different things um science and, and english classrooms and and you know literature classrooms even literature i don't know if we have literature classrooms this is like english i think what the way that you would divide up the way you, the school divided up mine You'd have a biology classroom because it would have some biology stuff and you have a physics classroom that has a lot of other stuff into it. But like uh, an English classroom could have literature, composition, you know, grammar, all kinds of stuff in a single classroom because it's it all kind of falls in the same thing. You don't need a lot of different equipment for that. Whereas biology, you might need more stuff. Um, physics, you, know, you need more stuff. Uh, then there's just random like, you know, you'll have an algebra room, but that's just because the teacher mainly focuses on algebra. Geometry. There's a geometry teacher. The kind of rooms you have a room that focuses on is geometry. You can de decorate it to that um, theme with stuff on the walls and that kind of thing. And that's that's kind of how it worked. That's kind of how it worked at my school. We had like a geometry room. We had a trigonometry room. We had a calculus room. And the teacher, the teacher would be the same for all these subjects. It would be, it would be algebra in the calculus room because the teacher teaches, teaches high level calculus, but you don't want to move between classrooms each day. The, the students go to him. And so like now. Like what's this guy? What's this guy doing in here? I mean, he's just hanging out. Great, Grady, Bradley Gretner. I don't know what he's hanging. Bradley Jenner, just hanging out in there. And yeah, so I'm 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 fairly certain that this is not adequately meeting the needs of our students. Um, their motivations falling throughout the day. I, mean, I don't know if that's important to keep it high throughout the day. Like, what happens? Like, if if you have it fall, nothing really seems to happen in the game just yet. This is just like ants moving across the thing here, right now. I love it, but this this is this is packed. People are moving in and out. I can't tell who's eating, who's not. Is the lunchroom of this size in this corner of the area not working because uh, the, the lunch periods are not long enough? It doesn't seem like they have enough time to eat. They all get in there and they're like, oh, well, it's time to go already. And that's a problem. You can't have that, but I can't have multiple lunchrooms. I mean, most schools wouldn't have multiple lunchrooms. They'll have one. So, and they'll have, what they'll do is they'll rotate through different periods. They'll have, you know, an early lunch, late lunch, and they'll split it up as needed to to accommodate all the students. So really, 
I mean, the, the, the ability for us to transfer in students like this is strange because you kind of just set your maximum occupancy when you design the school from the get go. Um, and really schools aren't built this way. I mean, schools are built with a, a size in mind and then you work on improving the experience from within. And I think that should probably be the focus of the game rather than adding on new things to accomplish different grants. Um, build all of the things to start with and then figure out how to manage them better. Maybe you can remodel some rooms. Maybe you can move and expand certain rooms somehow. Once it's all built, it's hard to say how you do that. But um, yeah, I think I think the management side of this is going to be more interesting than the, the building side of it for the most part. Because again, I mean, Prison Architect has done it. And it's more complex than this is, but I don't know if the man the, the management of it would be totally different from a prison. So I think that's where this game can really shine. Anyways, if you can't tell, I'm kind of doing a summation of the game here because I'm going to take a break from it for a little while here. We will revisit it as it develops, I think, though, because I've been enjoying the game so far, and I think you guys have too. So let me know what you think down in the comments, uh, what you'd like to see from the game, what you think the differences are between this and something like uh, Prison Architect, which obviously, again, has a lot of DNA that shares with this. And uh, see what you guys think. Let me know. And uh, we'll, we'll revisit this game, though, as it develops and see what uh, where it goes. Should be pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for checking out the series, though. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't to it. And uh, I'll be back with more of this. You know, as the game updates and unfolds, we'll have, to, we'll have some update videos for it. Because uh, I do enjoy it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.